Hi and welcome back and as you see I'm here with my jelly plate and today I want to print some of my labels. I have a lot of A4 sheets here with different labels. Um, I will use only circles today and they will make really nice stickers. You can use them for your mixed media projects or you can use them to create some nice planner stickers or bullet journal stickers and I also like to use them to close my shipping envelopes. I'm working with the bigger jelly plate today. It's the one that is almost an a4 size so it's not super per perfect for the for the labels because some of them will not be printed as they are a little bit bigger but that's not a real problem as always I have laid in a piece of copy paper on the right to clean my brayer and I will use these papers also for printing on the back side so I have a double-sided paper later this is sometimes pretty useful I believe this one is a double-sided leftover paper as it seems again I'm using stamps for making marks on my plate because it's a very quick and easy way I did this a lot in the past and I will link up some other jelly printing videos to the info box so you can check those out. It's a while that I made this video so I can't really remember which colors I picked but I always work with the similar paints and I have talked about the acrylics in my last jelly printing video so if you're interested um, just go to my last jelly printing video and there you will find more information about the paints I'm using. I pressed a little bit too long so my stickers stick to the plate so I just will pick them up and bring them back in onto the sticker sheet. And I have removed the leftovers so you can see how the circles will look. Normally I would just leave that that um, I don't know how to say it, the the rest of the paper on the sticker sheet and if you have used up all the stickers you can even use the leftover um, sheet and put it into your art journal as a background. I did the same video a few years ago and I will try to find it and maybe link it up too so you can check that out but be aware it's really bad quality and I made this on our kitchen table and it was pretty dark but it was uh, pretty the same that I do today. If you're wondering which pink color this is that I'm using this is the quinacridone magenta from Schminke and it's from their artist grade line which means it's pretty expensive but it's such a beautiful and vibrant color and so I really love that one. And here I have also used the burnt sienna from Amsterdam and the cobalt turquoise also from the Schminke artist grade paints. It's not necessary to use artist grade paint it's just these two colors that I really love and that I have from this line. When you work with stamps and acrylic paint of course you have to keep the stamps wet until you can clean them so the paint doesn't dry. It's really hard to get a dry paint from the stamps. Here I worked a little bit quicker so none of the labels sticked to my plate and I will remove the leftover paper around the labels so you can see how they will look and this paper can be used as an art journal background for example but it's easier to use it when all the labels are gone.
I think these turned out really pretty. I have some paints left on the plate, which I like because it gives a really nice and interesting texture on the next print. And this is one of the sheets where the labels don't fit all on the jelly plate, but I don't mind that. At the end of the video I will show you how I um, get more out of these stickers. I will add some stamping to some of them. And I also will show you some ways on how to use them in your work. As always, I have linked up all the stamp sets I've used to the video description. And here is a quick flip through all the prints I've made today. And then we will add some final touches to a few of them. Let's start with this one. I just pick some mixed media stamps and simply black ink and add some stamping to the whole page. I really love the contrast between the colorful background and the black marks.
And now you have some really nice stickers and I think they are super pretty and makes it so easy to create something quick when you have these things prepared. Of course you can also use those stickers and stamp a full image to them that matches the circle. I have the one of the night and day stamp sets here and it's really pretty I think. With this grid stamp you can easily create some stickers where you can add some writing so these are perfect for planners for example. And here I'm using a sticker with a dot grid. It's from the artist trading card backgrounds and I think it's also a really nice planner sticker or for the bullet journal. And just a quick idea for these stickers. Um, here I have that tag journal I made a few weeks ago. I will link up the video in the info box so you can check it out. It's made from jelly printed backgrounds and it makes it so easy to create an art journal page, especially when you don't have much time and you just need 10 minutes off. Grab this journal that you have a ready to go background, add some stickers, some quick marks and maybe a little bit of stamping and it's a finished spread. I will not finish the spread today, it's just an idea you, how you can work with the stickers. If you go on top with more wet medium, I would recommend to cover them with a layer of gel. For stamping in this book, I just use a piece of foam so that I get a good impression as it's not even and a little bit bulky. And as I said before, just use a layer of gel when you go on top with more wet medium. I will add a little bit of water to this pencil mark, um, but it's not much and it doesn't ruin the sticker. And that was my video for today. I will keep on using the stickers in future projects so you get some more ideas on how to use them. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope we will see us next time. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye!